following video was filmed in accordance with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention guidance on personal protective equipment to be used by healthcare workers during the management of patients with Ebola. These guidelines were current as of October 20th, 2014. This video uses the N95 respirator option with coveralls. This video will cover the principles of donning and doffing personal protective equipment. EMS providers must understand the basic principles of donning and doffing to ensure safe and effective PPE use. PPE must be put on or donned correctly and in proper order prior to patient contact. A trained observer should be used to ensure PPE is donned appropriately. This trained observer may be your partner. After patient contact, it is very important to follow the correct removal or doffing procedures. The doffing of PPE is a high-risk process that requires a structured procedure and a trained observer who, again, may be your partner. PPE must be removed slowly and deliberately in the correct sequence to reduce the possibility of self-contamination or other exposure to any infectious diseases. The PPE used in this video is appropriate for universal precautions, contact precautions, and droplet precautions. The PPE is all single-use and disposable including the N95 mask, a full face shield, coveralls, surgical hood, nitrile examination gloves with extended cuffs, and fluid resistant boot covers that extend to the mid calf. When donning PPE, it is important to engage a trained observer to ensure the PPE is donned correctly. Again, this trained observer may be your partner. A checklist is helpful in ensuring the proper sequence is followed. The first step is to remove personal items such as jewelry, watches, and pagers prior to donning PPE. Then you will visually inspect the PPE to ensure it is in good condition and all required equipment is available. Now perform hand hygiene with an alcohol-based hand rub, allowing your hands to dry before moving to the next step. Now you will put on your first pair of gloves, which we will refer to as your inner gloves. These gloves may be regular or extended cuffs. Once your gloves are on, you will put on your boot covers. You may need to take a seat to do this safely. The boot cover should extend to the mid-calf and preferably have a non-slip sole. Once your boot covers are on, you will then put on your coveralls. Be careful when donning the coveralls not to tear or damage them. Ensure that the coveralls are large enough to allow unrestricted freedom of movement. Once you have your coveralls on, ensure the cuffs of the inner gloves are tucked under the sleeves of the coverall. Now you will put on your N95 respirator. Place the mask over your face, then move the lower strap over your head, followed by the upper strap. Press the nose piece to conform it to your nose and complete a user seal check. Over the N95 respirator, you will now place a surgical hood that covers all of your hair and your ears. Ensure that it extends past the neck to your shoulders. Now you will put on the extended cuff gloves, or what we will refer to as your outer gloves. Ensure the cuffs are pulled over the sleeves of the coverall. Your partner or the trained observer may be able to help ensure the gloves are put on correctly. Now you'll put on a full face shield over the N95 mask and the surgical hood to provide additional protection to the front and sides of your face, including your skin and eyes. After completing the donning process, you should ensure that you can move comfortably and have a full range of motion. Your trained observer should ensure all PPE has been donned appropriately and any corrections can be made at this time. Once all the PPE has been donned appropriately, Disinfect your outer gloves with an alcohol-based hand rub and allow to dry prior to patient contact.
Once patient care is complete, you will then need to remove or doff your PPE. The doffing of PPE is a high-risk process that requires a structured procedure and a trained observer who again may be your partner. PPE must be removed slowly and deliberately and in the correct sequence to reduce the possibility of self-contamination or other exposure to any infectious diseases. PPE doffing should be performed in a designated area and all PPE waste placed in a leak-proof infectious waste container. As mentioned before, you'll want to engage a trained observer. The doffing process is conducted under the supervision of a trained observer who reads aloud each step of the procedure and confirms visually that the PPE has been removed properly. The first step in doffing PPE is to inspect the PPE and assess for visible contamination, cuts, or tears before starting to remove. If any PPE is visibly contaminated, then disinfect using an EPA-registered disinfectant wipe. Next, you will disinfect your outer gloves with an alcohol-based hand rub. You will then remove your boot covers. While sitting down, remove and discard boot covers. Remember, this seat is now contaminated, and for any future sitting, you will need to select a different place to sit. Once your boot covers are removed, you will disinfect and remove your outer gloves. Again, you will use an alcohol-based hand rub. Remove and discard your outer gloves, taking care not to contaminate the inner gloves during the removal process. Once your outer gloves are removed and discarded, you will then inspect and disinfect your inner gloves. Inspect the inner gloves' outer surfaces for visible contamination, cuts, or tears. If an inner glove is visibly soiled, cut, or torn, then disinfect the glove with either an alcohol-based hand rub, remove the inner glove, perform hand hygiene, and then don a clean pair of gloves. Otherwise, just disinfect the inner gloves with an alcohol-based hand rub. Next, you'll remove your face shield. Remove the full face shield by tilting your head forward slightly, grabbing the rear strap, and pulling it over your head, gently allowing the face shield to fall forward and discard. Avoid touching the front surface of the face shield. You will again disinfect your inner gloves with an alcohol-based hand rub. Next, you'll remove your surgical hood. Gently remove and discard. You will then disinfect your inner gloves with an alcohol-based hand rub. It's now time to remove your coverall. To remove the coverall, tilt your head back to reach the zipper. Unzip the coverall completely before rolling down and turning inside out. Avoid contact of your uniform with the outer surface of the coverall during the removal process, being careful to only touch the inside of the coverall. Once you have removed your coverall, you'll disinfect and change your inner gloves. Disinfect the inner gloves with an alcohol-based hand rub. Remove and discard the gloves, taking care not to contaminate your bare hands during the removal process. Perform hand hygiene with an alcohol-based hand rub prior to donning a new pair of gloves. Now you will remove your N95 respirator by tilting your head slightly forward, grasping first the bottom tie and then the top tie and removing the mask without touching the front of the respirator. Discard the N95 respirator. Again, you will disinfect your gloves with an alcohol-based hand rub. Now you will disinfect your boots. Sitting on a new, clean surface, use an EPA-registered disinfectant wipe to wipe down every external surface of your boots.
Now you will disinfect your gloved hands with an alcohol-based hand rub. Remove and discard your gloves, taking care not to contaminate your bare hands during the removal process. Once your gloves are removed, you will again perform hand hygiene with an alcohol-based hand rub. The final step in doffing is to perform a final inspection for any indication of contamination of your uniform.